it's insane, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I think somebody's, try, somebody's trying to give us a message. You haven't done our show in so damn long. Well, welcome back, buddy. It's good to be back. Tony, welcome to Matt and Foz Sports Buzz, baby. It's been a while. It's a long, long, a long time to get here. Uh, people um, na- texted me, Facebooking me. What, what's up, man? You guys out of business? You get your sponsors dropped? What's it? Yeah. I'm, I'm walking the streets uh, with my with, my, with a SpongeBob T-shirt and getting stared at by everybody. At Eleven o'clock. Freaking and, loving yeah. it. Long Meadow, Massachusetts. They're gonna call the cops on you. Put you in a loony bin for that. <laughs> you know that's the truth, brother. Only in Long Meadow they do that, though. <laughs> How you doing, pal? Doing great, man. I'm just totally pumped. We're here going to talk about the NBA finals. This is this is the most exciting finals. I mean, of course, 2008 finals were exciting, but it's not 2008. It's 2010. And, well, I uh, think it's different now too. I think I think I think there's different stuff brought to the table now too. I think so too. What do you are you talk about the LA swagger? I, I feel a swagger coming from Los Angeles. Well, I feel it too. They're defending champions. I think that you know that was the first time two years ago was the first time Kobe had ever really been there without Shaquille O'Neal, and, and so now they definitely have a swagger of being the defending champions. You know, and so I think that's kind of a biggie too. But there's there's other things on the table on their side. You know, I, I, and, and on the Celtics side as well. I mean, the Celtics won one championship. Good for them. But if they won, if they win two out of three years, then Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett get to become Larry Bird and Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish. They get to become the great Celtics. That's a great play. Is it? Is that that's, that is huge, Foz. I mean, I was watching Paul Pierce play this 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 game six, last game six here in the uh, against Orlando. There's something about Paul Pierce. He almost looks like he's lazy, but you know he what? Does. He, but he's he, not. He makes it look easy. I mean, the guy's so smooth. And the guy's got a great three-point stroke. How yeah, tall, how he, tall he, is Paul he, Pierce? He deadly, six nine? Is he bird? No, he's, you know, Paul, Paul Pierce, I believe, is a six seven swingman, but I have to double wow. check it. Nice call. But he's uh, but he's a um, you know he he can move with the ball, he can slash, he can hit the outside shot, he plays pretty good defense. I think uh, there was a big debate on talk radio around here today of the best uh, player ever come out of the Los Angeles area, and it's Paul Pierce with your know, hands down. That's pretty amazing to think of that. Of all the kids who have played in Los Angeles area, yeah, it is born and that's raised. huge. Yeah, that's huge. He's, you know, you got, got guys like Reggie Miller who played out there. You know, but you know, uh, of all just what a huge city that is. Paul Pierce is probably the best one to come out. And ironically enough, he's trying to trying to beat his Lakers. He grew up yeah, a Lakers yeah, fan. You know, I'm getting, uh, I'm just getting this 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 feeling that Gasol is going to be come out of either a different guy. We're going to see a different kind of Paul Gasol because. I mean, you know, Foz in the 2008 Finals, he was completely manhandled by Garnett. He was, he was basically a, it's a family show. He was his bitch. I said it. It's a family <laughs> show. He was his bitch. He had him on a dog collar leash. Okay, you know, I mean, he did. I basically made the guy look like a European fool. I mean, but he did. I think he's going to come out. He's got a chip on his shoulder. He's got something to prove. Yeah, listen to me. I sound like a Lakers fan. But you know, our show well, is well, our show. Is, like- our show is unbiased. That's what I think. I think you sound like someone who's actually analyzing what's going on out there. Uh-huh. The fact of the matter is also that he's not playing against Kevin Garnett in 2008. That's a different ball player. And Garnett you still to, got the good spots. Garnett still he, he, has, he may still have the goods. He was an MVP candidate in 2008. He's nowhere near that caliber right now. Agreed. He still, he still has, um, I still think he has another championship run in him, and that's definitely been proven. But you, I, I don't think that he can take over a seven-game series the way he was able to in the past. Let me tell you something, though, Foz. Garnett is going to make him earn it. If, the, yeah. if, if, if so, I'm, if the Lakers do take the series, Gar, it's got to go through Garnett. Gasol's got to prove himself through Garnett. Garnett's going to make him work. He's going to have to earn this one, brother. I, I would agree with that. I think it's a good assessment. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things going on. I just I remember leaving a message for you saying there's just so many um, so many stories going on, and one of them is this. I've been kind of contemplating it the last couple of days because I mean, you and I always say, who who would you rather have, Kobe or LeBron? Kobe, LeBron, and, and I, you know me, I've, I've said Kobe over the last couple of years, and I think you've you've come to you've come to that side of the fence as well. I'm there. Yeah, but here's I guess here's I'm going to push it a little further. If Kobe if Kobe Bryant, um, if, if the Lakers win another another championship. Kobe Bryant doesn't become the best player of his era. He becomes quite possibly one of the best players of all time. And he definitely gets put in the top five of, of that conversation. Definitely, I, about, he's, ne- he's not past Jordan. He, will, he won't pass no. Jordan, but, but, but top five. Jordan, Jordan, could, Jordan didn't pass anybody when he was at, mid- midway through his career either. You have Jordan, to wait until you get the end of the career. Jordan never but lost a final. I'll, I'll, always, I'll always stick to those guns, brother. 
That was undefeated, undefeated in the finals. Nobody yeah, ever undefeated. could make it happen against him. And in my mind, in my mind, he's the greatest player who's ever played the game. There's no no, doubt about no that. question about that. But what I say about this, and I just say, if Kobe Bryant does it this year against what I think is the best team in the NBA, which is the Celtics, if Kobe Bryant does that, or does that against the Celtics, I think he puts himself in that sphere of of the greatest players. I mean, in top five, top ten guys of all time, and possibly, you know, possibly top three or four of all time. And you know the little, it'll it'll depend, of course, on what happens in the latter part of his career. But I think I think he gets put in the conversation. You know, I was thinking about maybe doing a position by position matchup. You know, I just thought I'll throw the uh, the positions out there, and we can just kind of shoot back uh, some analysis because when it comes down to it, it's basically a position and position could be position on position series. We got to you know cool. who, who's going for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, so we would start with the center position. Of course, I always do, even though. You've told me many times it's watered down, but I, 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 I but but I think in the series the center position is important. Yep. Uh, Andrew Bynum v. Perkins. I, I think Kendrick Perkins all the way. Perkins is a better player. I think he's more well-rounded. I think Bynum has more natural raw talent, but he's injured and he, he doesn't play like against the centers that Perkins has played against and proven himself against. He's got a I, torn I meniscus. You ain't kidding. He's injured. He has yeah. he drained. Yeah. However, I must say this too. Phil uh, you know, Phil Jackson is no fool. Oh, absolutely uh, and I, not. And I think I think that uh, the smartest thing for them to do, and, I, and you know it's in Phil Jackson's game plan. He's saying the right things. He's saying he thinks uh, he thinks the NBA has done wrong by Kendrick Perkins. That, that's a that's a pretty big statement by an opposing coach. But you can bet that Phil Jackson's going to be looking for that seventh technical. He's looking for a way <laughs> no to pull it. You about. can bet your ass that yeah, he's looking right. for that. But, right. but, anyway, uh, Perkins brings it on himself with that. Little mean act he puts on, but I, that's just the way he is, I guess. But yeah. I love I I love Kendrick Perkins for his defensive abilities, and I think that's that's why the Celtics. Uh, it's one of the reasons the Celtics are where they're at is because of his tenacity on the defensive side. I agree. So I I say edge to the Celtics on that one. Okay, I, it's power forward. I guess we'll Paul Gasol v Garnett. This could swing the series, Foz. This is huge, bro. I'm going to put that, and I know you're not supposed to do this, but I'm going to put it at a wash. I'm going to put the two of them as a. Uh, I'm going to put that as an even, and it's the only one I'm going to put that as an even. But I think Paul Gasol has come around enough to show that he can he can play big and big games. He's done he's done it so far in the playoffs. Um, he's become more of a. Uh, I, I guess more. He, he's gelled more with Kobe Bryant. He's gelled more with Derek Fisher. He knows where these guys are going to be. They know where he's going to be. He's been he's been able to put his back to the basket a little bit more, and he, and he obviously has an outside game. And um, but I think Kevin Garnett has that X factor. Kevin Garnett has that. He wants it. He's always wanted it. The guy's so, heart is huge. I mean, Foss, the guy has a ring. You know, yeah. he could have just he could have just got that ring, put it on his finger, and just kind of walked off into the freaking sunset. Especially like, after last year. You know what I'm saying? And the guy's long, still right. just the guy. I mean, come on, Foss. Look at the two opposites. Uh, you're talking about uh, LeBron James and Garnett. LeBron, yeah. the lack of leadership, the lack of passion on LeBron James. Look, and then you look at a Garnett. The passion that guy has, yeah, you know, he's already he's got a ring. Sorry, LeBron doesn't have a ring. I oh, I, I agree you know, with you. On Garnett's that. still out there hitting his, you know, heart. Come on, guys, getting in people's faces, making people accountable for their actions. Because well, Doc, Doc Rivers is not on the floor. Doc Rivers is on the sidelines. You need a guy a lead on the hard court, baby. And Garnett's your man. Well, the great part about the Celtics is, is now you have a couple of guys out there because Rajon Rondo has turned into that guy. But let's let's we'll move on to another one. We'll let's let's go to point guard then. Fisher v. Rondo. Fisher v. Rondo. I, no, I, no. I'd like to hear your analysis first. Look, Foz, Rondo's been one of the best players in this playoffs. He's taken a lot of bumps. He wasn't he wasn't as spectacular in the conference finals as he was against Cleveland in the previous round. But his athleticism, Foz, let me tell you, he's going to make Fisher look bad. I can tell you right now, he's faster than Fisher. He's he worked on his outside shot. He's driving a lane. Edge Celtics. There's no question about that one. I don't have I, to uh, think twice. I agree with you. I don't I think totally agree with you. However, what I do say is, with two minutes left in the game, or with a minute left in the game, uh, 